Hello again. Tonight's Advent story is called The Christmas Task and it's been sent to me by Phoebe Dunlop, aged nine. Sienna was sitting at her bedroom window very sad, wishing she could go to a Christmas party. This year's Christmas parties didn't happen because of Covid lockdown. She had a lovely Christmas outfit, but she didn't have anywhere to wear it to. Sienna heard the twinkle and she ran over to where it was coming from. A little elf popped out from her Christmas tree. She said, I heard you wanted to go to a Christmas party. Then the elf took her through the tree and into Santa's grotto. <laughs> she stopped and started looking around at all the presents and toys and lights everywhere. The little elf took her hand and took her into the party room. The room was filled with sparkly confetti filled balloons of a rainbow of colours. There were fairy lights of all shapes and sizes and all the colours you can think of. Hanging from the ceiling were star decorations and paper chains, millions and millions of them. There was the biggest tree in the whole world decorated in tinsel and baubles. On the top there was a little elf holding a ginormous star. There were elves everywhere carrying plates filled with cookies and cake and candy canes. There was a huge pile of presents under the tree and Christmas music being played by a band of elves. Sienna couldn't believe her eyes. She thought she was dreaming. This couldn't be real. She couldn't be here. Another elf came up to her and told her that this party was for all children who had been kind and helpful to others during lockdown. Other boys and girls started to come in from doors all around the room. Sienna saw one of her friends and ran over to see her. I haven't seen you in a while and I missed you a lot. They hugged and danced to all the Christmas music for hours and hours until their feet were very sore. The elves told them to sit down at the table to have a rest and have a snack. They had sugar cookies and hot chocolate with candy canes and mince pies and Christmas cake. They had so much to eat. They felt a bit sick. Then the best bit happened. The elves told them that Santa was coming to see them, to thank them for being kind and helpful. Everyone sat in a huge circle and sang jingle bells for Santa to come. The elves were all ringing bells and cheering along with the children. Santa arrived and everyone was quiet. He told them that he had a special mission to cure the world of Covid. He gave each of the children a bag of special reindeer dust to sprinkle all over the world. He took all the children out to the stables and told them they would have to fly a reindeer to sprinkle the cure. Sienna had the best reindeer, Rudolph, and she had the special job of sprinkling her dust over Edinburgh. She wanted to do it right to save her friends and family. It was very exciting flying through the sky and sprinkling the dust. Everything looked so different from up in the sky. Everything was so small. She saw the fourth bridges and the castle and even her own house. When she had finished her task, Rudolph took her home. Sienna was worried she wouldn't be able to get back into her house but reindeer have magic in their noses. Rudolph wiggled his nose and Sienna magically appeared back in her bedroom. Maybe it had all been a dream, but in her hand was the bag of special reindeer dust. <laughs> Thank you so much, Phoebe. What a lovely story. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed tonight's advent story. Don't miss out on the chance of some more Christmas magic by booking my new online Santa at Home Grotto now. The elves and I have been very busy getting the Wi-Fi sorted out in the North Pole so that we can all meet and chat together via Zoom and have a right good Christmas party together. Book now at santaathomeofficial.com. Merry Christmas everyone! <laughs>